in the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most gracious. Hello, my dear students, students of Dar al Thaqafa Second School. Uh, welcome to a new lesson. Uh, we wish you an interesting and useful lesson. Today, we have a conversation. Uh, before listening to the conversation, let's look at this picture. Uh, first of all, look at at the picture, what place do you think it is? Uh, of course, it is a library. Is there a library at your school? Are you allowed to borrow books or only read books without taking them out? Uh, before listening to the conversation, listen to the following three questions. Number one, what kind of books and documents is Hashim looking for? Number two, which section of the library are the documents in? Number three, why do you think Ali knows more about how things are done? Now, uh, let's listen to the conversation. Can I help you? Could you please tell me where I can find biology books and research documents? What exactly are you looking for? It's about a science project and I need to gather information in order to create a timeline for biological research over the last 60 years or so. I see. That must be interesting. It can't be easy to collect all the information and choose the key items you need, but I'm sure you'll manage. Go to aisle 5 and look up the biology section. I'm sure you'll find what you need. I hope so. Thanks for your help. One more thing. The research documents are in the reference section. You have to sign and get a key. You can look up what you need and read documents in the reference section, but you mustn't take anything out. Can I photocopy any pages? You'll have to check with me first. You are not allowed to photocopy old manuscripts. I understand. Thanks again. I've noticed you have to use a whole pile of books. Are you doing research? Yes, I'm trying to, but I'm not sure I can do it within the deadline. I'll need to spend days in the library reading and making notes. Don't you worry. Of course you'll make it. It seems impossible at first, but you get used to it. Would searching online or using ebooks help? That would be awesome but all the computers are taken. No, not really. How about using this one? I'm just about to leave. Are you sure? Absolutely. I'll let the librarian know on my way out. You'd better move over right away before someone else takes it. Here, I'll help you move your things. Thanks a lot. I owe you big time. Not at all. I'm sure you'd do the same. Okay, after listening to the conversation, let's give answers to the, pre to the pre questions. Number one, what kind of books and documents is Hashim looking for? Uh, the answer is Hashim is looking for uh, or he is making a research on uh, a biological subject. Okay, uh, number two, which section of the library are documents in? They are in the reference section. Number three, why do you think Ali knows more about how things are done? Because uh, he seems to be more experienced and he knows a lot about uh, a lot of things. Okay, uh, now let me give you some other questions. Uh, was Ali helpful to Hashim? The answer, yes, he was very helpful to him. Uh, is Hashim uh, allowed to photocopy pages? Uh, the answer is uh, after taking permission from the librarian. Okay, now your turn. Uh, role play a conversation like the one above with a partner. Use phrases from the box below. Uh, in this box, we have uh, asking for and giving information or instruction. Okay, uh, first, could you please tell me where I can space? This is a question asking for, asking for uh, a place. He, he wants to know where is 
this place uh, where the space is this is another one another question asking for asking for directions uh, go to aisle 5 and space walk down aisle 3 and turn right these are kinds of answers uh, what exactly are you looking for information data uh, it's a project that I need this is a question asking for information and its answer now let's go to ask uh, asking permission can I photocopy this is a way of asking for permission uh, am I allowed to space is it all right if I space all these expressions are used to ask for permission now let's move to obligation ability and a prohibition you will have to uh, you will uh, you need to sign uh, this is a kind of obligation uh, you mustn't take anything out touch anything this is a kind of uh, prohibition you are not allowed to uh, this is a kind of uh, prohibition also now uh, let's move to uh, listening uh, listen to the conversation and answer the questions number one what is the relationship between the speakers are they friends brothers or other uh, how do you know listen and practice the conversation in pairs you better have your eyes checked if you don't want to get into serious trouble yes i know they feel all dry and puffy have you been sleeping well? As well as possible. I've been staying up trying to finish my project and spending a lot of time in front of the computer. Do you take breaks? You need to take a break every hour. I never get to the end of it that way. Well, you won't have the eyesight you need to get to the end of it if you don't have breaks. Another reason for taking breaks is to prevent damage to your back from endless hours of sitting at your desk. But I'm young. Older people tend to have back problems. You're wrong there. People can cause themselves damage at any age. What has saved you so far is the fact that you work out and do sports. Yes, my parents have said the same thing. Okay, after listening to the conversation, let's... Uh, return again to the questions number one what is the relationship between the speakers are they friends brothers or other uh, i think they are friends uh, how do you know because someone is giving advice to the other uh, okay uh, now uh, let me ask you some questions uh, are uh, are the breaks important when studying? Of course, yes. How uh, can breaks help? They help you to uh, to have a relaxing uh, eyesight and uh, uh, to have a good back without having back problems. Okay. Now about you. Number one. Uh, okay. These questions are uh, you are asked to give answers to each one according uh, to ask uh, to give answers about yourself. Number one, how many hours a day do you spend studying during exams? Number two, how do you feel at the end of an examination period? Three, which of the statements below do you agree with? Give reasons. A, uh, you'll do a better job if you stay up and work through the night uh, b you will do a better job uh, if you get some sleep and work in the morning number four what would you advise your friend to do or not to do when preparing for exams number five role play a conversation like the one above with a partner use the phrases from the books now we have uh, we have some phrases uh, which are used for warning or for advice number one you'd better space if you don't want to get into serious trouble this is a kind of advice number two you'll do uh, a better job 
or have a better space if you space this is another kind of giving advice the last one uh, you want space if you don't you need to space or else okay uh, this is a kind of warning uh, it is used when I warn someone not to do something this is the end of our lesson today thank you for listening see you next time